I moved to London. Hello and welcome to a new video. I am so excited for the videos to come and just life to come. Um, yeah, I moved to London and it's my first weekend here. It's a Saturday and uh, I just, I know I'm in the right place, at least for now. And yeah, I don't know, I just feel alive again. I have been talking about this move with my friends for years, for like three years, because I have several friends that moved over here and it got to a point where they just stopped believing me. They just were like, yeah, she's never gonna come. <laughs> like Life kept getting in the way and yeah, I really like this dream of coming here just seemed like it was really not gonna happen until one day, literally everything just worked out. So yeah, I think if a place is meant to be and like you're meant to be somewhere, when it's the right time especially, it will literally work out and there shouldn't be any resistance. So like for example, I felt like in Vancouver where I was before, there was quite a bit of resistance with me accomplishing things or like finding work and then I come here and for some reason, like everything kind of just went really smoothly. Like the moving process has been very, very chill, which I know a lot of people definitely wouldn't say that about London, but yeah, I'm feeling very blessed. Yeah, and just like the fact that people here go out for drinks in the middle of the week just still blows my mind. I started working again and I've only been working for a few days and I've already gone out twice. Like, it's insane. And I'm very excited to just like, feel like I'm in my 20s again and just feel like I have so much energy and like I wanna see people, which is not something I would normally say. So last night I went out to a wine bar with a friend who, you know, was one of those friends who didn't believe that I was gonna actually come here. We saw each other last time it was two years ago when i visited london last and yeah she had basically given up asking me when i was moving and so when this all kind of happened it happened really quickly so when all of this happened she was just like i can't believe you're actually here like this just doesn't make any sense i do what i say i'm gonna do it might just take some time but i'm very committed once i have an idea but um so yeah so we went to a wine bar last night and I do need a day alone. And yeah, it's just like a huge adjustment to be in a new city, new country, new people, and then like suddenly seeing people every day. So yeah, I've got to get used to that. But today um, I have a me day and I think I'm going to go to Notting Hill uh, just because I want to kind of go burrow by burrow. I really need to find like boots or some sort of shoes that are comfortable but look nice because I only came with one suitcase and my shoe department is lacking. And I wore these shoes out last night that were like healed and we were walking around the city and my feet are all blistered. So yeah, that's my priority. I saw there were like some vintage shops in Notting Hill. So... I'm gonna check it out. There's also Portobello uh, Market, which apparently is cool. It might all be a ripoff, but that's gonna be my starting point for today, and I'll take you guys along. So this is what I'm wearing. I have a thrifted top, cheetah print. It's really, really soft. And then I'm wearing these flared jeans, <laughs> which you can't see at all. This is just London size apartment. And then I'm wearing these Zadig and Voltaire sneakers. And honestly, I'd prefer to wear boots with this outfit, but I don't have any. And then I have this thrifted leather jacket. I wore this all the time in Canada. And then I have this bag that is super old, but the boys family gifted it to me. So it's basically vintage. But uh, yeah, let's go find some shoes. <laughs> Thank you. 
It is Sunday and I am going to Notting Hill again. <laughs> I've literally been to Notting Hill Friday night when I went to a wine bar with my friend yesterday all day. So Saturday and then today. Like this is my first weekend in London and I can confidently say that all I've seen is Notting Hill. But yeah, I am going to get a very late brunch with a friend. I'm basically wearing the same thing that I wore yesterday. It's like the same jeans, this bag, I'll wear the leather jacket, but um, this top is quite nice and it was thrifted as well. But yeah, I um, actually did buy shoes yesterday. I got these Mary Janes that are patent with like the leather straps that are super trending right now. And yeah, I'm second guessing my decision. So yeah, I just, cause I thought I would like be able to wear these in the office, but also like they're trendy. So it's like, I would wear them anyways, like on the weekend, but I kind of realized like I want to be more comfortable in the office and this has like a two inch heel. And I'm like, maybe I should get shoes that are almost like ballet flats with the straps. So yeah, I think I'm literally gonna go back to that same shoe store and try to see if I can find something a bit more comfortable for like long days in the office. I don't know why I'm like this. It's about 1 p.m. and so far I have uh, cleaned a little bit. I'm doing laundry. Um, I went to this farmer's market that's right next to my house and yeah, this place is dangerous. <laughs> There's so many opportunities to spend money. There's just so many cute things and so many things to do. Even if you live in like a neighborhood and not central, there's just, there's still things to do. It blows my mind. Um, but yeah, there was like a really cute cake stand. And that's what I had for breakfast. It was literally like this banana walnut cake. And it was so good. It tasted like really like homey. Um, but yeah, like I said, very dangerous. So yeah. I'm going to reattempt my shoe shopping and see my friend and enjoy my last moments of chill time before a crazy week ahead. Yeah. <laughs> 